All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Bakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one is going to be entitled, The Lord Controls All Angels. The Lord Controls All Angels. Now, I'm here at the park, and I'm doing a walk on the trail. And as I was walking, and this is not the first time, but the first time here at this park, but I have seen deers, all right? Now, the park that I'm in is not necessarily known for having deers, all right? And um, I've seen deers early this year, and they was on the streets and places where they don't normally be in the city, you know, downtown area. I have jumped out the car and watched them run through neighborhoods. And it seems as though I'm the only one that sees these things, you know, because when I'm seeing it, there's no one around me to say something to. Like, yo, you seen that? And once again, now, I'm walking and I run into a family of deers. And it's amazing because I know they don't belong in this park. And out of nowhere, they just appeared. And I shouted out, oh shit, you know, cause it's so huge. And I'm not used to seeing wild animals, man. You know, even deers, even though they're harmless, but they still could hurt you, you know, and they're huge. It was huge. And I guess I shocked them and they started to run off because of my voice and uh you know from the continuing on the walk i'm just keep looking i can't stop looking through these damn woods and seeing if i see something man you know i got my circumspect on my 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 look on you know seeing around me checking everything that moves and uh you know i'll say well i might as well just do a quick lesson hopefully it edify those of the whole four elect and uh this made me realize you know that the Lord controls all angels, you know, and he controls all his creatures, okay? Even the beasts, even down to the, the uh, nations he set up, okay? It's the Lord who uh, set, uh, he, he uh, what's the scripture say? He ruleth in the kingdom of men, all right? He set up of kingdoms and he destroyeth kingdoms. So overall, Everything that exists, the Lord controls. All right. So, in the day of a famine, which you know we're approaching, they constantly talking about on the news, or let's say alternative news, giving you that real news, real insight of what's going on in the world, in the world, a better perspective than watching fluff news like your NBC, Fox, and et cetera, et cetera. You know they're saying that a famine is coming. You know food. Uh, uh, shortage is coming all right and i noticed going to pick up groceries that they don't put out the big quality of the items until about the middle of the month you know they give you these little bags of things because they know people is just going to gobble it up you know so anyway i have a scripture queued, uh, queued up which is first kings 22 and 19. All right, because in that day, man, remember, man, we, you know, I say this for myself first, you know, that there's nothing we really should be worried about. We should actually be rejoicing, as the scriptures say, because the Lord controls everything. All right. He controls everything, man. And when you think you ain't got no food and water, watch it appear before your eyes if you have faith in your house, your house shot. You know, things just happen when you least expect. And the Lord loves that. He surprises you. You know, nobody could calculate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his moves and how he do. Now, before things spring up, he tell us of them, as the scriptures say. He said he revealed his secrets uh, to his servants, the prophets. So we got uh, uh, insight on what the Lord is going to do before others. And that's beautiful. And that's only a small, small vision of what it is, man. You know, we have what we need to, we need to know. 
okay, for us to uh, be, for us to have stability, the knowledge and wisdom for these times. But in the kingdom, it says, the Lord said, uh, nor I nor it have heard what's in store for us. So we don't know, you know, every fine detail of the kingdom and how it's going to be. We only can imagine from the precepts that the Lord gave us. All right. The idea, you know, the Lord loves us to use our imagination, you know, but in righteousness. So let's read First Kings 22 and 19. And he said, hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Now the host represents army. So the Lord angels are his army. Okay, he got angels that's on his left, on his right. He got angels that, uh, which I wanna get in Sirach 39, 28, that appease him, all right? They do a, a, a diligent, they do their, their job according to their, their lot. That's an army, that's a soldier. Okay, so, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Because the Lord, scriptures say, the Lord tells us that he's not the author of confusion. All right, he's about order. So even in the kingdom, even up in the heavens, in the fourth dimension, in the realm where the heavenly father dwell with the rest of the angels. Okay, and the spirits, he divided them. Okay, just like he divided the nations today on earth, he divided his angels. Run some on the right, some on the left. It says, verse 20, And Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab, that he may go up and fall at Ramath Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. Now, you should read the chapter to get the gist of what Yahweh Bashim is talking about. Okay, the Heavenly Father said, is talking about with Ahab, he was the king, you know, and he wanted to go against, uh, uh, he wanted to go against another kingdom. So anyway, it says that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead, and one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. So the angel said this, and the angel, another angel said that. All right, so they're having a council. All right, it says just like the Lord, what is in Job. When he called the sons, okay, he called the angels to him and Satan came amongst them. You know, he had a council with him. The Lord has no problem. Heavenly Father has no problem having councils with his angels when he's seeking out uh, a certain particular judgment. All right. Or a particular thing that he wants to be done. So it says, verse 21, and there came forth spirit, a spirit that stood before Yahweh. And said, I will persuade him. It says, and, the, and Yahweh said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So here it is. The Lord is using one of his angels on his left side to be a lion spirit. What would you call that? A evil spirit all right a spirit that comes down and seduce you for you to tell fit for you to tell lies fibs man and when you read the story you understand that these prophets that were supposed to be prophets of the Lord but they really were just yes men for Ahab anything Ahab had said they agreed with it but you had one prophet which was Micah I who was of the Lord okay he was sincere and honored Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and his word and stayed true he got persecuted he got you know basically punched in the face for telling you know this vision that he's seen of the Lord because he always spoke truth and Ahab hated that you know so that's kind of sort of a small gist of the story you can read it for yourself now the point of this lesson is that the Lord controls all angels so now from here let's go to one one of the more famous scriptures which we all know here in Israel is um uh, you know, the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. And uh, let me see. Okay. Let's start at 5. Isaiah 45 and 5. It says, I am Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. They, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west 
that there is none else beside me. I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So what power do man have? None. All right. So as you read here in the scriptures, you see that Yahweh Bashmi Shai is in full control, man. Now, verse 8, drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, Yahweh, have created it. So everything that's being done, the Lord created. Now, what's coming into mind is real quick, and it's kind of like off subject, but it's in subject. You know, you got uh, Esau and his space force. You know, I've seen a video earlier and I'm looking to post it for brothers to see, you know, and get what, and get what they could get out of it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you see that this space force is, a, you know, is one of Esau's weapons. And they're talking about the rod of God. Now, I remember this, this uh, weapon, the rod of God, okay, uh, years ago with uh, the movie G.I. Joe. And actually in this, in this clipping, all right, and actually in this clipping, they showed the movie G.I. Joe. And it's showing you their technology that they could have where they send down these rods into, into the earth. They said it's more, uh, it's more, uh, I guess, beneficial or they believe they might be more powerful, if I'm not mistaken. But they said it's a lot better than using nuclear missiles. I believe the nuclear missiles uh, explode in the heavens and it doesn't touch the ground. But these rods go into the ground. All right. And it caused more devastating blow and I guess less uh i guess the less ready it is you know no radiation or less radiation you know you could just do your due diligence and look this up but um but uh yeah man you know they east e think that these uh weapons that they create is for them but really it's for yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right which is he gonna put his anger inside these weapons to destroy babylon it said the earth shall rock to and fro so anything that's created on that larger scale is nuclear missiles and the rod of God, some technology that hovers right up out of the uh, right up out of uh, the belt or whatever, and they, and they're able to shoot down and destroy lands and, and earth. That's that's the most high's weapon, man. So you know that's it. That's all I have. I wanted to few thoughts on what I have just seen with these these uh, deers and stuff, and just being in the spirit, knowing that the Lord controls our angels. He controls everything. So for us brothers who are in the truth, man, continue in prayer. Continue. Continue to rejoice in the Lord, you know, even though times get rough. But remember, we, we got the, uh, we got next, you know. We got the kingdom, and we're right here. We're right near, you know. So with that, hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.